Hey guys, and welcome back to Turok. When we last left off, we were at Ship Creek. We got raptors, we got men, we got helicopters with fucking giant Gatling guns going off all over the place. There's a chopper overhead. Fuck me, Slade. You're a genius. That doesn't look like a raptor. That thing's got like one of them bloat neck frog things going on. You're not Slade, are you? Am I meant to know the names of all these dudes? Uh, <laughs> right, okay, so I think... I think the helicopter is a one-hit kill dealio. So we only... Because cause, uh, Logan, or whatever the fuck his name was, Mr. Crazy Man, scores one hit on it. Is that a touching moment? I don't think that's a touching moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on it. No, don't drop the minigun, you melt. And I got stuck on something. Stuck on the rock, I think. <sighs> Damn it. Don't you love seventh generation games? You know, it's interesting to think that we haven't really evolved that much in gaming. And it's very easy to believe that. Until you actually go back and play them. And then you realize that actually like controls and just gameplay and game design actually has come a long way. Uh, not that I'm saying this is a bad game. I don't think this is a bad game at all. I'm kind of really enjoying it. Smile, you son of a bitch. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, I uh, didn't hit it, but okay. I actually saw that RPG go wide. Wait, is there another helicopter? I guess why would there only be one, right? Right, come here, raptor. There you go. I, I can see you're hungry there, fella. There, feed on that. Hot lead. Turok speciality. Another chopper overhead. Why am I not surprised? Get minced, mate. Wow, there's another raptor overhead as well. A lot of raptors. Now, I don't know who terraformed this planet and why they decided to add in all of these uh, strange creatures. Ugh. I mean, maybe the whole plan was to create a Jurassic park but on a much larger scale that makes ooh oh fuck did you come from yeah all right all right i know we're going that way but this man's looking for some ammo first uh right ammo i guess because we've died and hit a checkpoint we've lost all the guns that were on the ground which yeah i get it it makes sense Alright, the game technically resets when it loads uh, a checkpoint, I guess. But that does mean all the goodies are back here. So, there was a sniper rifle, but we don't really want the sniper rifle. Rocket launcher. Oh, it's you fuckers. You assholes running around behind me. I thought it was a raptor. Yeah, so, uh, I'm not a huge fan of this rocket launcher design I don't like the way the the um, it's got like an underslung targeting system to me that seems like it would be really clunky and unwieldy 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 bearing in mind I have zero military knowledge oh hello fuck why what I'm bumping into you aren't I You can get butt, pal. And if we're meant to be going over this bridge, then I want to go under there. Uh, find a way into the substation. Okay. Sure, I guess. Is there anything... Hope it gets you a better place. 
<laughs> Alright, so if you didn't hear what he just said, he said, Logan was right, or something. A soldier ain't meant to get old. Better to take one for the team and earn yourself a better place. What? What? So all soldiers are meant to die, apparently. Uh, yeah, well, see, the thing is, if all soldiers died, that would mean surely nobody wins any wars and... You know, nah. There's gotta be another route. Okay, so we can actually come round here. There's just nothing here. Alright, cool. So, uh... It's a pulse rifle, but... I'd rather hold on to the rocket launcher for now. Seems like a good thing to have, I guess. I like the smooth animation on Turok's thumb there. Actually very well animated. It's the little things, guys. It's the little things. Okay. I wonder if there's any chance of Turok actually coming back. I've been looking at the news quite a lot recently, and um, Stadia is winding down its first-party games. Shit, son. Who would have seen that coming? Oh, yeah. Everybody. Um, ooh, get fucked. And uh, the Xbox Live remake of GoldenEye has been released to the world, which is interesting. Which has apparently been rumoured that it's going to come out in 2021, which is very interesting. Now, everyone's blaming Nintendo for that. Like, oh, Nintendo blocked it being released. Um, no. <laughs> How could they do it? They don't own the rights to the game. They have no say. Oh, hey, guys. Unfortunately, James Bond uh, 007 is just a nightmare. There's about four or five different companies that have their finger in the, that pie. And it's just a nightmare. None of the companies want to sit down and actually work it all out. So, I'm not sure. It'd be nice to see that game come out because, you know, I'd love to play that game again. And it looks like utter dog shit on an N64. And I don't want to have to grow a third arm and retrain my brain on how to use a control pad, an N64 control pad, which is... One of the worst control pads ever made. Keep quiet. Here's me letting off this minigun. Now, the actual um, remake of Perfect Dark on Xbox Live Arcade, that was amazing. I've played through that a few times over the years. Man, to think Goldeneye could have got that treatment. Ugh. Never mind. Right, we need to get three kills with this rocket launcher. That is an achievement. Oh, hey. I guess we got raptors. Unless there's just different species of raptors. That could be a thing. I mean, I don't really know much about dinosaurs. It's kind of big into dinosaurs when I was a kid. But that was a little while ago, you know? Right. Oh, come on. That could have been it, you know? Yep, there's definitely... I need to try this again. There's definitely a hit detection issue with this game. For absolute certainty. There's something odd here. Because there's a few times now where arrows have literally passed through the body of enemies and flares and now freaking rockets. Definitely not right, that's for sure. Right, well, I mean, we've got explosive tech arrows, so that's a thing that we've got. Get rid of those guys. I don't know, man. That Okay, maybe just the hitbox on these rockets is weird. 
not like the uh, tech arrow that just, you know, destroys everything. More raptors. Oh, there's only actually two soldiers there. That's not enough. We need three. We need three, boys. All right, come on, guys. We can handle... Uh, there's three of us, all right? We can handle a raptor. Okay, back the fuck off. I'm guessing dude with an SMG is going to die. Wow. These tech arrows really don't have much of a range. I mean, that makes sense. I suppose they're very weighted at the top. Probably would have quite a bit of drop. Ooh. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Had to do it. Had to do it. So, are we meant to be going this way, or...? I'm not sure, Chief. Let's go back this way. I'm confused. I would have thought going into the compound would be... Yeah, because this looks like the way we should be going, question mark. Hit him hard! Hit who hard? There's nobody here to hit. Um... Alright, I guess it doesn't really matter what way we go. Dude, you're down. I think maybe the minigun's too heavy for him. Alright. Party time. Uh, something like that. Really like some minigun ammo. Ah, there you are, you little bastard. Come on, dude. Come on. There we go. Shot him right in the dick. Don't even feel bad, either. Oh, pinned his ass. Pinned his ass to the wall. It's actually quite hard to pin the enemies. I guess there's a technique to it, which makes sense. Oh, God, hello. Got him. Well, got one. Yes, pinned him. <laughs> nice. I mean, you only have to pin 50. Oh, hello. Which is a lot better than the one... Oh, I thought you were my mate. Oh, God, hello. We've got hostiles. We've got hostiles. Yeah, get some cover. You're all down. Dudes, what's going on? Oh, you're back up. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. We're all here. Anyone got a minigun? <laughs> you're right there, buddy. Yeah? Yeah? Just, just hanging around. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Right, okay. Oh, hello. You've got an RPG. Come on, baby. Come on. Did you just kill yourself? I don't think you killed yourself. But you came close. And that... Oh, Jesus. That's sad. Wow. We've got explosives coming in left, right. To the up, to the down. Jesus. Oh. Well, that was... Bloody easy. Alright. I didn't even see three enemies there. I thought it was two, but hey, I'm not complaining. Shit, we're almost out of ammo. Alright, friends. Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, let's get out of it. Run, 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 run. We're dead, we're dead, we're so dead. As much as it pains me, we're going to have to drop this. Uh, drop. 
Are we just got to hold out here, or...? Oh, God, I forgot this thing overheated. A useless weapon. Stupid covenant designs. Well, it's not quite as bad as a covenant uh, pulse rifle. Or plasma rifle. Or plasma pistol. At least it doesn't have to be plugged into a docking station to be recharged. There is that. Yeah, I guess these guys are just going to keep spawning in. Which is a problem. Let's go grab some ammo and think about our situation. Uh, yeah, ammo's good. We like ammo. Do we need? Do we even need the rocket launcher anymore? Probably not. Actually, yeah. I'd rather the SMG, to be honest. I think. At least the SMG doesn't overheat on us. Although ammo's an issue. Oh, hey, friend. Yeah, we don't have, like, oh, God, any ammo, really. Where are you? I'm here, friend. Would you like to come and say hi? Oh, God, you're behind me. How the fuck are you behind me? Get fucked. Yeah, dual SMGs is actually fine. If we could find some more ammo, though. Uh, right. That's... God damn it. Do you guys have, like, SMGs? Seriously? Just, just one would be fine? Damn it. You know what? We... M yeah, we're fucked. So they're going to continuously keep spawning here. So now... Now we've got the achievements. We need to find weapons that we can actually get ammo for. And I don't really like the pulse rifle. Uh, fine, we're here. Re oh my god, we're here. Seriously? Dude. Right, I'll catch you guys further up ahead. Okay, so I've pulled around to the other side. And I can see the enemies just infinitely unloading from that truck. So I'm guessing that's where we're going wrong here. Not pictured about a thousand deaths, which has been a little bit awkward. Because there's just a sheer quantity of enemies that just spawn in unlimited numbers. And I've just worked out where they're all coming from. They're coming from a helicopter that literally drops them all down in front of us. And they're infinitely spawning from there. Which is fun. But we are just going to charge. Oh, good. I guess we can't just charge. Oh, Jesus. Though, so, I don't know if we're meant to be holding out against them, or is there a button to push? I don't know. Um, there's no mention of a button to push. We've got wounded. Um, well, don't die would be my advice. Enter the turret. Okay, so yeah, I've been doing this for about 20 minutes now. Uh, which is fine, you know. You don't, don't expect it to be easy, but... I'm not sure. I'm honestly... Oh, God. Honestly not sure if we're just meant to be holding out here and surviving the waves or finding a button. I don't know. Right, he's got a rocket launcher. So we don't want nothing from him. And of course he can see through the smoke perfectly. As we can't, which is a little bit awkward. Just gonna have to kill these guys as they come in. Which is difficult when you're on the turret. Wow. Let's go. Oh, objective. Hold your position. 
Now it tells me. Right, he's going to try and crack the door open. Got ya. Thanks for that. Because I was, you know, starting to worry that my game had bugged. Yeah, I'm covering you. I'm covering you, for God's sakes. Fortunately, these turrets aren't all they're cracked up to be. Because you're one hell of a fucking target. Yeah. We're taking as much cover as this thing will allow us to take. Get through the door. That's actually solid advice. Let's go... <laughs> Oh, oh, great. Right, okay. So you want the man to leave the gun turret that's protecting us to open the door. Well, that's just silly. And you're hitting a whole load of nothing there, buddy. Uh, dude. Dude. Must be near you then. We'll try to hook up. We need a rendezvous point. Head through the fuel distribution area. It should lead to the hangar. Copy that. I guess it's just you and me. I guess it is, buddy. I guess it is. Try not to die. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course you're gonna die. You're all lemmings. Lambs to the slaughter. Ah. <sighs> Oh, we are. I don't think we're alone either, dude. This place has seen better days. I'll watch your back. And I don't think it's us that's caused the damage somehow. <gasps> oh, weapon. Yes. Ooh. You know what? Go on. Uh, actually, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that. That. There's got to be another SMG. Oh, you bastards. Oh, wait. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. I actually really do like these SMGs. You might have noticed. When you've got two of them, you can put out a good amount of damage. And they have a fairly decent uh, accuracy as well. They're not bad. They don't fucking overheat on you either. Probably not a good idea to stand in one place. Yeah, these are good. I like the SMGs. Favorite weapon in the game. Nice, more ammo. <laughs> That's the only trouble with two of them, though. They do eat their ammo supply, which you'd imagine. Dual wielding so fun. I never know why they removed dual wielding from Halo. Like, why give it to us for two games and then take it away? I, oh, God knows. I never understood that. Because dual wielding in Halo... Oh, you got a plane for her. Dual wielding in Halo is awesome. Two SMGs. Ah, uh, do we want the flamethrower? Probably not a bad idea, to be honest. Ah, uh, flamethrower. What do we get with it? Get quite a lot with it. Alright then. You've convinced me. One SMG isn't terrible. It's... Hmm. Far from terrible, actually. Far from terrible. I mean, the minigun's cool, but we haven't played with this for ages. The minigun's good, but you don't have... Um, I don't like that sticky weapon. Maybe that's probably because I just haven't used it that much. Haven't had a much time to play with it up there on catwalk. We don't need to take cover. We've got guns. Oh, hello. Yeah, even those heavy armored guys aren't too bad. 
Something about security? We need some help. The system is damaged and we can't get this door open. Got it. Give me a minute. So basically we're Guys, defending. In your area. Of course you do. Who's there? Who's there? Who do you think? I would like a minigun to set it up. I think the minigun's despawned. No, it hasn't. Um, Alright, hold that. Okay. Yep. Or how about we just drop that down? I don't want that. Oh, God. Frickin' minigun guy. Let's get a nade out there. The pulse rifles do a lot of damage, but... The trouble with the pulse rifle, unfortunately, is just the fact that it overheats. And it overheats really quickly as well. The grenade launchers for it aren't exactly great either. Wow, that's probably really hot, I would guess. Yeah, we do. Let's put down another minigun. I don't know how many of these we can actually put down, but... Uh, yeah, we'll have that. Did he literally just say, Ow, that hurts, when I'm burning his skin off with a frickin' flamethrower? Right, let's go. Miniguns can watch our back. I like those miniguns. Yeah, we've been. Keep quiet so I can think. Yeah, shut up, Shepard. Fuck's sake, man. All you do is talk about going home. Oh. Oh, we got raptors down here. I guess they've lost control of this place completely then. Don't die, Shepard. You're going to become the hope of the galaxy one day. Shepard, you'll need to activate the backup power relay. Just be a minute. Just be a minute? Alright, well, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, what's the betting that is full of fucking Take your time, man. I'll be over here getting eaten. That should do it. Yeah, we're good, Shep. We're good. Now there's a grizzly face. Um Shep? Shep? Did we did, did we just leave him behind? All right. Ooh, we're out of time here, just about, guys. And we've hit a checkpoint too. So I'm gonna save it here. When we come back, looks like we're gonna link up with the rest of these assholes. Not that there's a lot of us left, mind you. Hmm. Are we even gonna defeat Kane? kind of feels like we're running away maybe that's what Turok 2 was meant to be about i don't know but i'm looking forward to finding out so thanks for watching guys and as always till next time